Welcome back. This is the third video in our series about the Good Light HRR Color Vision Test. Have the score sheet at the end of the book handy. I'll be discussing how to te use the test results for determination of the severity of common hereditary red-green color blindness. No other book test offers this quantitative diagnostic capability. Many occupations requiring good color vision will accommodate colorblind persons whose color blindness is mild or, as we might say, functional. Young people in particular are helped with career plans once we have this diagnostic information. To begin, let's recall that color blindness is indicated if a single symbol is missed. But what if there are more errors? Well, Red-green color deficiencies will cause any number of errors on plates 7 through 20. These plates are grouped under four headings on the score sheet, screening, mild, medium, and strong. If you have normal color vision, notice that the symbols become easier to see as one progresses from plate 7 to plate 20. Compare plate 8 to 17, for example. Failure of a patient to see easier symbols indicates a greater severity than failure to see more difficult ones. If errors are confined to screening plates, the deficiency is very mild. We might even say the mildest of mild. Such persons usually have very little, if any, difficulty with color. If there are any errors in the range from 11 to 15, those plates, the severity is considered mild. Mild generally is considered safe or functional for many color-related tasks. If errors continue to, say, for example, plates 15 through 18, the severity is medium. This is kind of a gray area, if you'll pardon the expression, between very mild and strong. Some color task will present problems and some sort of additional task specific practical employer administered test may be needed. Color sorting for example. Ability to sort colors. If errors continue beyond plate 18 then the severity is strong. Many everyday and virtually all occupational tasks involving color will be problematic. Color vision is not safe, particularly if there are significant consequences for error, such as for a law enforcement officer, a firefighter, or persons in various transport industries. In the next video, I'll be discussing still another advantage of the HRR test, qualitative diagnosis, that is, distinguishing between different types of colorblindness, both hereditary and acquired. Thank you for watching, and be well.